It's late autumn and I'm doing one of my favourite jobs, which is planting tulip bulbs ready for next spring. I never plant them before this, because if you plant too early, you run the risk of the diseased tulip fire or frost damage if those shoots get going that bit too early. So I grow my tulips in pots and I'm planting them in nice sized terracotta pots using a multi-purpose compost and I've added extra loam based compost to that which helps to hold on to water when those bulbs are in full leaf next spring. So I've started by filling the pot just over a third full of compost. I want at least three times the depth of the bulb of compost above it. If you don't plant them deep enough, sometimes those flower stems are a bit too short. And then I'm using really nice sized, good quality tulip bulbs. Really important. If you plant smaller bulbs, then sometimes the flower stems just aren't strong enough and you might be disappointed. And I'm spacing those out over the surface of the compost leaving about the width of a bulb between them. If you think about it, you need to leave just enough room for those flowers to open fully so that you see them to their full advantage. Don't follow the instructions on the packet for spacing, otherwise you simply won't get enough bulbs in the pot. So in here, in this pot, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, I've got nine tulips. And this is a lovely, tall, lily flowering variety called Elegant Lady. And that's going to be in bloom at about this height above the pot. So I don't know if you can see, that's how they're spaced. So when we've got them in, I'm going to fill the pot up with the compost. No need to firm it too much just lightly firm it and this compost is plenty moist enough to get them started. I'll keep an eye on that but usually, certainly here where we are in Hampshire, England, there's enough rainfall over the winter to keep these just moist enough even if they're under the eaves of the house for a bit of protection. But next spring, when they're in growth, I'm going to keep a close eye on that watering because I don't want them to get dry. So that's it. All we've got to do is wait for spring. But before I go, I'm going to label these because I want to remember what they are when they come into bloom. If they're good, I'll grow the same variety again next year.